There's no mistaking the anger over A-level grades. Students, many who've been downgraded, were protesting in Westminster today. And there is confusion over the appeals process after it was suddenly withdrawn by Ofqual last night. Well, it's a real mess. Uh, it's hard to believe they put the guidance up and then took it down a few hours later, just before midnight uh, on Saturday night, and saying they had to discuss it with the board. Well, that should have happened in the first place. We need to make sure that we have an exam system that is fair for everyone. On Tuesday, the Department for Education in England said pupils could choose to use grades from their mock exams. Yesterday, Ofqual said that if the mock grade was higher than the teacher predicted grade, the teacher grade would be taken. But last night, the Ofqual guidance was withdrawn. It hasn't been replaced. It is completely and utterly shameful that the government have done what they've done. They've had months to sort out the exam situation. They've devastated the lives of young people with what's happened, where some have had their life chances literally pulled from under their feet through no fault of their own. In fact, there are also protests against the Labour-led government in Wales. A similar result system is being questioned in Northern Ireland and in Scotland. It has been scrapped. So these students aren't the only ones who feel they've been robbed. I got AABB. What were you hoping to get? Four A stars. How do you feel about it? I feel heartbroken, I feel livid, I feel betrayed and honestly my future has been taken from me. Pretty devastated. I feel like the system's failed us, the algorithm hasn't worked and we need a chain, we need our mock results. And there'll be no let up in the pressure on the government. Legal actions have been launched against some A-level results and GCSE results are due on Thursday. Carl Dinan, ITV News.